Hi everyone, welcome to Music Resource Online. This is Jerome, and today we will talk about La Voce di Amelie. Now, this piece was selected from the Rock School Piano Examination debut grade. Now, we will share with you and show you how to play the piece and how to practice and link the scale syllabus to this piece. And once we are done with that, we would like to share with all of you uh, the expansion activities that you can do. And this will hopefully bring you beyond the exam syllabus. So let's dive right in. La Valse d'Amélie. One, two, three. This piece was composed by a French uh, composer by the name of Jan Thiersen. Uh, his musical career is split between studio albums, collaborations, and film soundtracks. His music involves a large variety of instruments, primarily the guitar, piano, synthesizer, or violin, together with instruments like the melodica, xylophone, toy piano, harpsichord, accordion, and typewriter. And the piece, La Voce di Amili, is composed by Jan Thiersen, was an award-winning soundtrack for the movie Amili. And this piece was why the soundtrack was well received worldwide. And uh, it has won many awards, which includes the best original score in the year 2001. And it got the second spot in the US Billboard Top World Music Chart as well. So now we're going to move, uh, learn how to play this piece. Now, this piece is composed in the key of A minor, A natural minor. Now, if you refer to your, your technical exercises, you have C major scales. I'm sure everyone knows that. Right now, to play A natural minor scales, what you need to do is very simple. You just start playing C major scales, but beginning on A. So here, this is how it looks like. You see, the scales still use all the notes in C major scales, but it begins on A. All right, I'll show you one more time. See, it's all still in white keys. Okay, so now next step is what you do is 
try playing arpeggios or broken chords on each of these notes, like this. See, start on the third note of A minor natural, uh, A in the H natural minor scales, and so on. And then you can try on the left hand. And then what you do now is have the left hand play the block chords while the right hand just play the arpeggios. For this piece, you will just need to know only four chords, four chords from these scales, which is A minor, D minor, F major, and C major. Okay, I'll show you again. A minor. D minor, right, clear? So this piece only uses this four chord, like this. And then A minor, and then F major, C major. So you can just practice uh, your scales, your and then maybe change chord. Then maybe you try one more time. Come down, just change to this chord. Then maybe change to F chord again. And then. So as you can see, it only comprises of these four chords. So the piece actually begins with this D minor chord. And then A minor. Then it repeats again. So it's changed to F major chord. And then again. So as you can see, okay, I'm going to play again. This time, I'm still going to play the A natural minor scales over these chords. Then I'll play again. Start here, but it's with different chord now, F major. Then again. Now I would like to play in arpeggios. Exactly like what you can find in your technical exercises. Then we go to F major and C major and again.
So that's it. This, this, this is what uh, you can find in the entire piece. The piece is built only on these four chords. So what you can do, okay, let's, uh, let's break this piece into four sections. Okay, the beginning, uh, 16 bars, all right, that is a melody. So you can play the melody. So how do you figure out the melody? Okay, it's very easy. The first note starts with D, all right? Together, I'm going to play with the chords, as you can see. So this is the first, the root of this chord. And then, if I move to the A minor progression, so it will be on the B. So together with A minor chord. As you can see, the B is, this is the nine of this chord. So I want you to remember that, one, two, so it's a nine. So it's from here, the root of D minor, and then the nine of A minor. All right. And the whole song is mainly made out of these two target notes. So I want you to practice this way. So just keep practicing these two notes over your the D with the D minor chord, and then the B with the A minor chord. And then repeat that. And then repeat again. All right, so when it goes to the F major uh, uh, progression, so it's going to start on this, this F major progression, and this is going to be the fifth note of this, this part of this triad. So it's a fifth of this triad, and then the third of this uh, C major triad. Watch again. Play one more time, just watch carefully the F major. Okay, so now I'm going to play again from the D minor chord until to the present chord, all this chord. So first one is your root of D minor. Then nine. Same thing, repeat that again. Now move to F major, and then to C major, the third of C major, the fifth of F major chord. Right, okay, I'm going to show you one more time. Again, D minor on the root, then ninth for A minor. Then one more time. Then, same thing. Now we go to F major, which is in the fifth of F major. Yeah. And then the third of C major. And then one more time. Yeah. So if you can do that, basically, this is almost uh, the entire piece. So now, if you observe carefully, D to connect to the A minor melody. That is, this is the A minor. So that is the first uh, uh, first two bar, the first four bars of the melody. So you just have to play a passing note between these two notes like this. So I'm going to play right. So now I'm, I'm I will just play this way with a passing note. Yeah, this is a passing note. Then I will play the A and back again to this note. So I will show you the first part. Two, three, one. Now passing note. Two, three, one. Then two, and then I'm going to go back again. Then I'm going to have more passing note. See? All right. So that's it. The first A bars, let me play for you. A passing note to the nine of A minor. Then now a whole lot bunch of passing note. Alright, and then if you remember just now how do we play our F chord? 
right? The fifth and the third. So the same thing here, almost the same idea. We are going to go on this passing note, but we'll leap down to this. Then up, but a big leap. The same thing, a bunch of passing. See, again. Two, three, one, two. It didn't go to E, but it jumped down. Then, and a bunch of this note. Sorry, it's a two, three, one. That's it. So now I'm going to play the whole thing. This is how it goes. Now we're going to go to F chord. C chord. Then a leap up. Then. Okay, so this is the first part of the melody. And as for the left hand, it's very simple. You are not uh, uh, required to play the, all the notes of the triad. You just have to play the root and the third. And no fifth. And then the next one, same thing. We are going to omit the fifth. Okay, one more time. Then this is an A minor chord without the fifth. And then we repeat that again. And then listen to the chord. And then after that, the F major chord, also the same. We will omit the root, the fifth. Just, just the root and the third. And the C major chord is, is the same. You see again? Okay, so let me play the entire uh, first 16 bars of this piece. Okay, so you start with the, remember? And, okay, so here it goes. Then, then you change your chord. Okay, so now that is the first 16 bars of this piece. So now the next 16 bars, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is you just have to vamp. Okay, vamp uh, using the waltz rhythm, just like a. The exact chords progression. You can practice this way first. Just practice vamping this way. And it's be light. You must get the walls groove. See, so just with the left hand, practice the left hand. The same chord progression. So, so now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna break it up into two hands. Okay, so your left will be playing the root. And your right hand will play exactly the triad, but uh, without the fifth. So, okay, then your A minor root this way. So, this chord is complete with the root in the left hand, the third and the fifth on the right hand. Okay, I'll show you one more time. Then you can go on again. Then the F chord the same way. Root and without the fifth. The C major with the third and the fifth. So I'll play for you one more time. Just do boom cha cha boom cha cha boom cha cha boom cha cha light. And the left hand you can hold for, hold the entire duration. Because this is where, in the minus one, you will hear the accordion playing the melody. 
All right, so you have the, we have uh, completed the, the section B. Okay, the B section. Now we're going to move on to the C section. Now the C section is very simple. Again, we're going to play melody. Same, the same melody. Then we're going to start on the fifth of F chord. So now the only difference here is that you are going to, the chords is still the same, except the left hand earlier in a, in a, in a, a section, we play together, right? And these two chords, all the chords, in fact, we play this way. So now we are going to break them up. Do you see? I'll show you one more time. So it's no longer harmonic, it becomes a melodic interval. And the same goes to the right hand. It's supposed to be like this. So now it will become two, three. With a slight variation towards a bar before letter D. Okay, uh, you can refer to your score. So let's play it with the right hand. Huh? After D, you just play the entire chord and hold it. And then, and that's it. Uh, for more details, you can refer to the book, The Rock School Piano Examination Debut Great. So that's how you break, the, break down the pieces into three sections with um, section A and C having the melody but uh, in section C, the left hand is is uh, is played uh, uh, not in a harmonic interval, but in melodic interval. Then the section B is just mainly vamping on those four chords. So remember again, you can play your chords, practice your chords, the the, the progression, the D minor, A minor chords, and then it goes to F major, to C major. Right? All right, so you can take some time and uh, learn up this piece and I will return next with uh, some expansion activities.